Video number 33 of the series, we are learning SQL. In past, we have learned about primary and foreign key constraints. And we will learn about another constraint today, which is known as a check constraint. A constraint is a rule that restricts the values in a database to ensure database integrity. Check constraint ensures that the inserted or updated values in a column meet specific conditions. I'll use a simple example. We'll create a table. Create This is the syntax. Create a table. Name of the table, for example, is test2. And that's how you define columns within a table. Open bracket. Name of the column. Ename. Data type. Varchar2. And the maximum width of the column is 20 characters. And we want to define this column as not null comma not null is also a constraint people cannot enter null values in this column the second and the last column is sex and we'll define this column as char data type the maximum width is one character only and this column is also not null here we'll define a check constraint and that's how you define a check constraint on attribute level or in simple words column level open bracket name of the column that you want to apply the constraint which is sex in our example is equal to single quotation capital M so sex can be either M or sex can be single quotation capital F and single quotation close bracket bracket once again so what we are saying that this column can only take capital M or capital F only. So this is a check constraint and this is how you define a check constraint on a column level. Run this and table created. Now we'll try to insert a value which is other than M or F and it should come back with an error. Insert into test two values open bracket name is Kiara for example comma and the second value is for example H and it should come back with an error run and it says check constraint violated will change this value to M capital M and we'll run this again and one row inserted even if you try to insert this M in lowercase it should come back with an error check constraint violated because it can only accept values two values capital M or capital F